And action! Welcome to Swala and Adelie's. Yes, welcome to our channel. If you're new to it, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because not only do we do delicious recipes like this ultimate steak sandwich I'm about to show you, but also we have our family reality show, we have movie reviews, TV reviews, mental health films, daily um, news show in the morning. We're just, we're just full of it here. So, Mark, what's your favourite sandwich? I don't know. This month. Every month has a different one. Oh. Favourite one at the moment is the ultimate steak baguette sandwich. Now, I've just cooked this one. It's one of those part bake. I actually undercook it. I only cook it for five minutes because that way, because we don't want it super crunchy, tearing holes mm. in the roof of your mouth. We hate that kind of bread. So it's nice and soft and just warm. Under here, I have a lovely piece of sirloin steak, which I took out of the fridge about half an hour ago just so that it's it's not freezing cold because when you put steak into a hot pan and if it's freezing cold the fibers literally go ah they go like this Nyah! and then you get tough meat so just going to rub some olive oil on don't have to use olive oil you can use normal oil but the thing that's really important when you're cooking a steak is mark what why am um. i putting the oil on the steak because you need to make it settle. No. He's probably filmed me 5,000 times cooking a steak and he still doesn't you know. You need to press it. If I was to pour the oil into the pan and then put the steak, it would go batshit crazy. So, and spit and everything. So we just put it on the, season it up nicely. Some black pepper. A little salt if you get don't make the mistake that I used to make when I when I used to cook and I when I was a kid a teen and I knew that I had to get the meat out of the fridge and so what I used to say was oh, I'll get the meat out of the fridge and then what I'll do is I'll season it so it's ready to go don't do that because the salt draws out the moisture from the meat so only as you cook it see how my pan's really nice and hot I'm gonna put my steak straight in and I'm not gonna touch it not going to go anywhere near it, okay? Can I touch it? No, you can touch it as long as you don't. Mm. Oh, sorry. As long as you don't move it, and as long as you don't stick a um, tongue in it. Tongue in it. Okay, so I'm just I've got a little while that I've started heating here. We had McDonald's last night, and there was a load of chips left because they sent too many. So I'm going to fry those up and put them in the baguette. So I have my baguette here. I'm just going to cut the ends off. You know why? Do you know why we cut the ends off, Mark? Mm. Why do you think? I don't know. Because I like to eat them with a big knob of butter. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> okay I'm just gonna... That bit on the top of a baguette is called the baker's signature, isn't it? That's right, it is. They do it with a knife, don't they? It's not yeah. knife. So you notice how I am not going anywhere near my steak yet. Want it to get nice and crisp. Now, Mark usually likes a fillet, and a fillet is gorgeous in this. But the other day, I did a sirloin, and he didn't notice any difference because I cut the meat off. He hates hit the fat off. He hates the fat. What I would say is, if you're going to do that, if you've got somebody that hates the fat, don't cut it off before you cook it. Good because what happens if you cut it off before you cook it? Mark? You don't get all the juicy flavours. Yeah, the the the, um, the fat gives it flavour and keeps it really nice and moist. Now Mark likes his rare, so oh look at that! I'm just showing now. Oh, how gorgeous does that look? Now you see, because I haven't moved it around in the pan, and I've got a nice big pan. It's not in a really small frying pan where it would steam and give us a sort of boiled steak rather than you want that charred that's now sealed really nicely so all the juices are inside and that's the caramelization that's happened there oh i wish you liked the fat mark look how perfect look how perfect that fat is look at that it's crispy uh yeah so again the biggest mistake and this is much more what men do i notice when they cook than women because they want to feel like they start doing all this stuff, skipping. We like to feel the flesh. Yeah, <laughs> prodding, lifting it up. No. Shaking it about. No, 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 no. 
So I'm going to wipe that off a little bit now because we can. We've got quite a fierce heat. Let's see if our Just oil is ready. <laughs> Just going to wipe that off a bit for our chips. Now, ideally, if you can, once you've cooked your steak, rest it. Rest it for at least five minutes. We're not going to do that today because, and actually that steak sandwich I did for you the other day, we didn't rest it at all. Let's have a look. Oh, how rare are you wanting it today, baby? Quite rare. Quite rare. Okay, so now I'm going to put the chips in. Let me just check and see if the... Hmm, could be a little bit hotter. But we'll go with it. This is great. Do you, do you ever... You know, so often it happens with takeaways, they send too many chips. Put a little bit of oil or spray them with oil and put them in the oven. But again, because we're doing meals in minutes, we want it quick. Okay, so, where is my, yeah, okay, so I'm going to turn that heat down and I'm going to add a knob of butter. That steak will be absolutely delicious exactly as it is now. But what I'm going to do is add a bit of garlic and butter and take it to the next level, the sublime. Oh my God, Mark, tell them about the smell. Gorgeous. Tell them. Gorgeous. Tell them. Okay, so my heat's off now, remember, because we don't want to burn the, the, the garlic or the butter. That is now gorgeous. You know what I do sometimes, which is so naughty? I, at the end, I swill my chips round in the buttery garlic. <laughs> That's so nice. Look at those chips. They didn't go to waste. Or French fries, if you're watching from America. We know we have our American followers. Welcome, we love you. Right, so at the moment, this is fairly American, isn't it? With the, with the fries and the steak. But now we're going to go fairly British, my darlings. Because what we're going to do is use a bit of good old-fashioned... Do you helmets. want to take your rubber things out? No, they're fine. All right. Because the, the fries off. So, a good squidge of mayo. I can't tell you how lovely the mayo is with the steak. And this is English mustard, Coleman's English mustard, which really is, you love it, don't you, Mark, with steak? Yeah. Great with steak, great with um, sausages, English sausages. Now, you could, of course, put some thinly sliced tomato that would soak really nice into the bread. You could put some lettuce or some spinach, but Mark, no. no. He don't want any of that. He wants the chips and he wants the steak. So here we are, look how delicious that is. So I'm gonna cut that. Look at the dog waiting for the for this, because she knows you're fussy. Chee Chi, sit, sit. Oh, she's excited. She's excited. Okay, so remember he likes it rare. You would just cook it for a few minutes more if you if you didn't like it. So I'm just gonna. Oh, look how juicy that yeah. is! Oh my god! Right, this is a really crap knife. I'm not kidding, Mark. How useless is this knife? Useless. But look how that's going through the steak. It's so tender. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Are you very happy, man? Are you very happy, man? Very happy, married man. But the thing is, I've also taught him how to cook this himself. But he never will. It's because it never tastes quite as good. Is that right? Yeah. Mmm. Oh my God. Bro. Well, I'm put the steak in. Wow. Look at that. And it's really seasoned nicely. And of course, we've got the delicious added layer of flavour. And the garlic. Mm. Do we need to take a photo of that for the gram before we before I finish this off? Well, you'll have to take it. Some filming. Where's my go? Where's my phone? <laughs> All right, we'll Where's do it. My Should we pause? Pause. Photo taken. We had a little pause. So now I'm gonna put my sandwich on there. Mm. 
Get my French fries. And if you don't have any leftover, if you're not lucky enough to have leftover McDonald's French fries, just do some corn chips. And if you're in a real hurry, good tip is shallow fry <coughs> oven chips in minutes, literally. Sorry. <coughs> oh, got a bit of pepper down my throat. Some salt. <coughs> do you want pepper? Yes, please. Oh my lord. Whoops. Bacon chip to get. Happy husband. <laughs> get the shot. Mm. <laughs> a steak and a French fry garlic baguette. I don't know what accent that what was. What accent was that? I don't know. I think I was going for Italian and French at the same time. 